Consumer prices soaring by more than 9% revealed in a new report released today by the U.S. government. Those costs trickling down to many families here in Central Virginia. 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquith joining us live in Richmond, breaking down what this means for housing rental rates. Olivia. Yeah, well, Eric Deanna, the major question here, is it legal for landlords to raise rent by tens, even hundreds of dollars in a month? Well, the short answer is yes. As long as it's private housing and there's nothing in the lease specifically against that, landlords in and around Richmond can hike prices up. Something legal experts tell me is making a big problem in Richmond even worse. Prices for gas, food and rent catapulting U.S. inflation to a new 40 year high in June. This is very close to an emergency situation in Richmond. Even with new rental properties being built, Martin Wegbright with the Central Virginia Legal Aid Society says there are few affordable housing options for tenants in Richmond. So we're at 1.1% vacancy rate and that does not give tenants a lot of options other than, as I said, possibly doubling or tripling up or moving much farther out uh, where the rents might be less. Surging inflation rates making an existing problem worse. And it's not just in Richmond. From March 2020 to May of this year, apartment list estimates that rent has increased by 19.5% in Glen Allen and 26.8% in Chester. If it is private housing that has no government support at all, then there is no limit. There is no rent control in Virginia and the limit is only what the free market will allow. Dozens of Facebook comments from renters sharing their own challenges as prices jump up. The inflation that we're seeing, uh, the rents going up faster than inflation, is compounding an already existing problem where uh, it was already difficult for people to pay rent just because of that rent burden. Now, based on today's prices, local economists tell me next month should look a little bit better, but it is likely to take several months before inflation rates stabilize. Live in Richmond tonight, Olivia Jake with E News.